Hello everyone, I'm Vikram Aditya here. I'm a software architect. Welcome to Jade Soft Tech. And in this session, uh, I'm going to discuss with you all the types of SAP testings that we do on uh, any, any implementation project of uh, uh, SAP S4 HANA or even uh, previous uh, implementations that we were doing. So the different types of testings that we normally do in, in AC, any SAP project would be unit testing, integration testing, interface testing, user acceptance testing, SAP stress or load performance testing, SAP security or authorizations testing, SAP cutover or dry run testing and regression testing. Let's see in brief what is, uh, what is each of these testings is all about. Unit testing, this is done by the consultants, mostly in the development testing. The client, uh, client, uh, any, any particular testing client to check whether the transaction codes are working properly or not. And this unit testing can be done by individuals who have done the customization or the development of any technical objects. In this case, uh, the, the, the individual who has done this customization or development would be testing it or their buddies will be testing it or their teammate teammates will be testing um, uh, uh, testing the developments so in this is called unit testing and unit testing is a very simple test whether uh, we just see whether we are getting the output and are we you know properly following the coding standards and uh, are we doing the you know error handling and all these things will be taken care and uh, in coming to the configuration we'll be basically understanding what exactly is the configuration requirement and whether that that has been fulfilled or that has been developed or uh, maintained by the functional consultants is what we'll normally check and this is done this testing is done the development development system only and it will be done by the the individual who has done the customization or development or their buddies buddies in the sense teammates now integration testing integration testing is conducted with most realistic data with number sequence of various models for integration testing what we do is we we just check if if i enter some data in one particular module is it getting affected in some other module and we would try to get the realistic data from the production server the client will provide us the data and we upload the data in the testing server normally this integration test integration testing is done in the testing environment or the quality server quality server so in the quality server we'll be doing this testing and this testing will be done basically by the testing team Now the interface testing, testing of various interfaces at different points of our project. Uh, you should be clear when you need to test what interface. There will be interfaces. Uh, interfaces are something which will which will get the data into SAP system from non-SAP systems like we have uh, ALEA docs or uh, these are the interfaces that we have. But in case like the interface testing that we have in particular SAP uh, will check whether there are in, in proper integrations done or not user acceptance test this is one of the most important and crucial test which has been actually done by the clients or the customer the and the, the our, our whoever is a, our client or customer we will be inviting some end users who actually will make use of this customization configuration or development that we have done in the sap system and we'll invite them to test whether the requirement which is given by them is fulfilled properly by us or not so one or more users would be testing the testing and uh, sign off whether the transaction codes are working properly or not. This would also include a scenario type testing. So they take a scenario, a real time scenario in which we they actually do the business scenario, uh, and then they they start to try to develop it in the in the in the system. And this user access test also is done in the testing server. Or in some cases, if you have the pre-production server in your uh, landscape, then it will also be done in the in the pre-production server. Now, SAP stress or load or performance testing, uh, all this means the same. This is mainly the test to, to check whether the system response time is acceptable 
performance is as, as expected. So what we do in this stress load or performance test is we'll try to log in from multiple uh, multiple uh, logins or uh, multiple systems and we'll see whether the performance is properly uh, proper the, properly uh, uh, ac according to the expectations or not. And we'll also see if let's say we have huge number of records being run in the background. For example, if there is a background job in which we have to load some millions of data. Uh, so we just need to actually check whether it is been properly working for millions of records of data because when we are in the development server we we basically test it with a couple of uh, uh, records but if you have millions of records how will it be affected is what we'll be normally testing in the uh, sap stress load or performance testing now sap security authorizations testing this is to ensure that the sap uh, end users are only able to execute the transactions that are internet as per sod so whenever we create our own transaction codes or even if we consider the sap standard transaction codes we always need to make sure that it is it should be uh, allowed to be used or opened by only the selected people whom who have to work upon it for example uh, if at all if the finance related end users finance department uh, uh, employees uh, have to use uh, have to use particular transactions only finance department should be able to open it HR department should not be allowed to open it so that is how it should be maintained and for that we maintain the authorization groups and we assign authorization groups so we need to make sure that the specific transaction codes are uh, are being a are being executed or are been opening only for that particular department for which it was intended to so that kind of testings will do in the SAP security and authorization side testing. And this also, this test also will be done in the testing server or the quality or testing server only. Now when, then we have SAP cutover or dry run testing. This is just to stimulate number of single time events such as extraction of data from your legacy systems, validating the data, data conversions, etc. will be done in SAP cutover and dry run testing. Then we have the regression testing this is to test whether changes to configuration has been made uh, has made changes to functionality intended for. For example, if you have made some configuration testings and there should be some functional functional concepts that have to be implemented, then we need to make sure in the regression testing it has been achieved. That is what we test in the regression testing. So I just covered couple of uh, testings, different couple of types of testings in SAP, but there are some other testings also which are done in various implementation projects. But I have picked up those which are in general done in the implementation projects. You can comment in the comment section uh, if at all if you know any kind of testings which I have not covered here in this particular session and try to cover it up in another session uh, which I'll be making on uh, the testing uh, different types of testings in an implementation project of SAP. Thanks for watching this video and if at all if you want to uh, get notifications of any new videos you can contact us you can subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash jsoftech and if at all if you are looking out for any kind of trainings you can contact us at training at jsoftech.com and if at all if you are looking out for any jobs you can contact us at jobs at jsoftech.com thank you have a great day and if you like it do share it with your contacts